Why? Because we have no power in the kitchen and this is crock pot cooking. We need power. So I have already cleaned everything. We must keep things clean. And I have chopped everything, gotten everything assembled for you here in, well, the kitchen, uh, which is also kind of disheveled, but you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> so, I have my coffee, oh, with Irish cream, oh my goodness, I haven't had any breakfast, I must have my coffee in the morning, mm. Oh yes, I won't say how good it is, but it's very good, it really does. <gasps> so, Today, we are not cooking from my cookbook. We are using the uh, Crock-Pot cooking uh, cookbook that we've been using all along. I'm sorry, I've taken over Sandy's body because things are just getting a little, oh, dry. So I decided I would hop on by and take, take over. <laughs> so we're doing hearty beef ragot. I think that's the way you say it. Maybe it's ragu. I don't know. <laughs> Say it however you want. It's not a rag. I can bet that. So we're starting off. We we have a night. We had a nice cut of boneless beef chuck, and I have. It's about three pounds, and I have cut it into one inch pieces. Here's beautiful meat. Oh, oh! I'm telling you, these people that they know that have cows that oh, it's just beautiful. Uh, and then uh, it's also call, called for uh, a pre. Uh, cooked nasty packaged sausage and Sandy didn't have any from her pig so we're using this but I cut it into slices about one inch each but we like big bites so we made them a little bit bigger. <laughs> I gotta have a big bite there once in a while. <laughs> So, also, I have red potatoes that I've peeled and cut those into one inch pieces. And I also have a combination here, a beautiful bou bouquet. Uh, on the top here is the leeks that we've chopped. Make sure you wash those very well. You may need to slice them and soak them in water for a bit uh, in order to make sure you get all the grimy grit out of them. They are a dirty little vegetable, aren't they? Uh, and underneath that is uh, some... Uh, uh, celery, also very dirty vegetable. Uh, cut that up into one inch pieces as well. It called for a 16 ounce can, I believe. Oh, let me squint. Yes, a 16 ounce can of canned whole tomatoes. And unfortunately, I used those uh, when she wasn't looking. <laughs> so she didn't know that I used them. So, but she did have some fresh tomatoes in her fridge. So I cut those up. And sometimes when you're doing a recipe, you do have to fly by the seat of your pants, as Sandy likes to say. Um, so when I was measuring out the beef stock that it called for, which actually I believe was, let me squint again here. Mm, where is it? My goodness, I have to get it closer. I'm so blind at my age. Oh, goodness, where did it run off to? <laughs> Half a cup. So it calls for half a cup. And normally in a can, you know, they have all those make believe juices in there. Uh, so it was a 16 ounce can. So I just increased uh, my measurement of my beef stock and brought it up to two cups. So there's half a cup of beef broth and, ha and the rest is water, bringing it to two cups, which will make up for that that uh, a juice that's normally in a canned uh, vegetable uh, uh, that they have. So that's that's that. Uh, so we have a plethora of, uh, I've kind of, she doesn't have the best garlic this year, unfortunately. She didn't get her garden going yet, so, but that's understandable with moving. So we're going to use garlic powder in substitute. Um, uh, I, I'm more of a shaker. I don't really measure when it comes to those kinds of things. I like to just look at ooh, and smell. It's a good way to do it. Also, she didn't have, obviously, fresh herbs from her garden for a bouquet. So I went ahead and selected some dry uh, sage, a rosemary and thyme, which were always lovely in a song, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> Also, it uh, all called for uh, oregano, so we have that as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we took a third cup of flour, uh, added salt and pepper to that, mixed it up, and our first uh, thing that we're going to do is we are going to take our beef and we're going to toss it 
in the flower and coat it very nicely because later, oh, we're going to be thickening this up and we're going to get a good thickening. Now, like Sandy did the last time. Oh, it's going to be much better because I'm here. Uh, so it says uh, that we are going to uh, place the, uh, the meat on the bottom and everything else will be on the top. So we're going to go ahead and take the meat and put it in like so. And we're going to toss it. Yes, yes, yes. Get all nice and flowery in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Isn't it wonderful to get your hands dirty? Oh, yes. And that meat is all nice and coated with that lovely flour salt and pepper mixture. And it does not say uh, to coat your crock pot. So we do not need to coat it with any kind of sick, you know, stickery, greasy stuff. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to plop it right in to the crock pot. So right in you go, oh, be free. Where's that? Okay, we'll throw that over there. Oh, we're gonna make you all spread out in a nice place. Okay, so then we're going to grab these lovely sausages. Well, you know, prepackaged meat is what it is, but sometimes when things are in a pinch, you must do what you must do to feed your family. And that is the whole point, isn't it? Yes, so we're gonna throw those potatoes in there. Yes, oh, we missed one. You get back here, you little tomato, you're so sneaky. <laughs> so, oh, here we go with all the rest of the vegetables. Oh my goodness, that's quite full. Who's coming for dinner? Oh my goodness. There will be leftovers. Nothing wrong with that. No, no, no. Uh, so then we've got all those lovely things in there. Now we're going to go back to our cookbook. You always must check. Always check. Because if you mess it up, it won't be ruined. <laughs> it's a crock pot. <laughs> oh goodness. So, uh, yes. So yes, we're going to pour our uh, stock and our water mixture in, like so. Get those dirty dishes out of the way so no one sees them. <laughs> oh my goodness, my hands are such a mess. Where did my kitchen towel go to? Excuse me, one moment. Now normally, I would be in my kitchen, at my sink, able to wash my hands at my leisure. Unfortunately, they are not. So we're going to use the kitchen towel, but we are going to wash it again. We are not going to be continuing to use it from one step to another because that will cause contamination and make people very sick. We do not want to do that. So now we are going to go ahead and add all of our uh, lovely seasonings, our garlic powder. Oh, it's raining somewhere. It's raining here, actually, I do believe. Uh, and the oregano. Oh no, that's just not going to do. That will. <laughs> yes. Oh goodness. Don't you just love the smells? Oh, fresh is better, but you know, you can tell with a dried uh, uh, earth, if it does not have an aroma, it is no longer good. Get rid of it, replace it, because if there's no smell, Oh, if it doesn't smell, it isn't good. Okay, so you remember that. Clean out those spice shelves because all those old yucky spices you don't want to put in your food. Actually, I believe that with this red sage uh, that uh, Cindy told me, she grew this from last season and still has it and it still has a beautiful bouquet. I didn't even have to stick my nose in it. I could smell it. <laughs> so now, all of the herbs are in, oh, everything is in, and it the instructions say to uh, turn it on and, and on low, and let it cook for seven to 10 hours. My goodness, the things they come up with these days. So I'm going to cook, actually set it for eight hours, and I'm going to check it because I do not want my beef to be dry. I want it to be flavorful and moist and just Mmm, magnifique. This is what we're looking for. So, let's take a look. Oh, isn't it beautiful in the crock pot? So, all right, let's go ahead and we'll put that lid on. Oh my, where do I go and put that on? <laughs> oh, I hope so. 
Karen to get back in her kitchen soon because this is a real pain. <laughs> oh, let's see. I don't know if I know how to operate these new fangled things. Hmm, let me see. Ah, oh, select. Hello, the little lights on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, a start. Oh, is that what you said the time? Let push. Oh, the numbers are changing. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so genius. Oh, I, the start, the start button is flashing. Oh, oh my goodness. I push it and it does it. I can walk away and I can, I can do my housework. Uh, I can clean my dishes. Oh, and you know what else I can do? I can go into the Renault kitchen with you. Let's go. Oh, wait. One moment. Coffee break. Oh yes, <laughs> now, here we go. We're going to go over into the Renault kitchen. Yes, yes, yes. I know that you've seen this because uh, her husband filmed some yesterday. So we know that you know what's going on back there. So, take this yicky towel, it's going in the laundry, and I'm gonna properly wash my hands thoroughly. Whoop, stay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do the next thing that, that Sandy left for me to do while she was there. Uh, Away. <laughs> so, what should I have very well? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, that is very good. Very good. Okay. So, now we're going to get some paper towels. We have that nasty towel, Judy. And I believe a week or so ago, oh, uh, she told me about this concoction that is good for your body, makes you feel better, especially when you're, you know, with the sniffles and, and such. And it's called fire cider. Oh, look at that. Though. And this, this has been sitting for two weeks and she's shaking it every day. So she told me in her mind <laughs> that it needed to be strained today. So, I was going to use this strainer, but I do believe that Sandy wasn't thinking clearly <laughs> because all of those goodies will go down through those holes and into the sink and cause all kinds of new problems in the demo kitchen. So we're going to get the finer mesh and we're going to use that uh, to, to strain. Uh, so let me get that. I think I can find it here somewhere. Oh, oh, oh goodness. Oh, 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 things are everywhere. <laughs> Oh, I did find it. I did. But, you know, I'm going to use this one too. I'm going to be totally safe. So it's a finer mesh, much better. Open this up. Brace yourselves. She said it's quite pungent. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It really is. <laughs> and she's going to drink this stuff. <laughs> well, you know, we'll give it a go. <laughs> so we're going to pour it into this, this fine mesh sheet, like this. And oh, look at all those things. Oh, and you know what? I recognize all of those herbs. Oh, oh, there's peppercorns in there and garlic. Oh my goodness, I believe there's some red pepper in there. Oh, I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Oh, it is quite pungent. Yes, okay. So, oh, look at all the lovely mess out of there. And let it just go ahead and I just poured it down the sink. Darn it. Uh, Oh, she's going to be quite upset with me. What will I do? Oh, oh, oh no. Well, that was tragic. Well, I'll buy her a new one. <laughs> oh, sometimes we just don't think straight, especially when we haven't had our breakfast. Oh my goodness. Well, let's move on. <laughs> she also told me that uh, she had some fresh eggs that needed to be uh, washed. Uh, so I thought I would uh, show you that. Oh, I'm quite flustered that I, that I oh, poured it out the sink. I was being trying to be so careful. Well, um, okay. Uh, let's just fly by the seat of our pants again. Maybe if I put it back in the jar and I just, I just tear it wasn't like quite, quite ready. Um, maybe she won't. Maybe she won't find the pipes are nice and healthy. <laughs> oh, I can tell they're breathing. Maybe if I just stick my face in the sink and breathe in. Oh, well, I have to say that didn't really do anything good, but 
Well, you know, we have to try. <laughs> so we go. We have washed these eggs, uh, soak them in a, a concoction uh, that you buy at the uh, poultry store. I've never raised chickens myself, but uh, egg cleanser. Oh goodness! Uh, warm water in the sink, and then put a couple cups in that, and, and then you wash it uh, with a, a cloth. Which obviously, just like the towel, uh, you are going to. Um, Put in the washer. You're not going to use it again because you never know when there's a little little bits of um, chicken. No, no, on it. No, not with the washing clean dishes. No, 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 no. no. Uh, so we're uh, they're very clean. Oh my goodness. She said to be careful because sometimes those little buggers, they, they, their shells can be thin. They they don't eat the, what they're supposed to eat when you give it to them, and they get picky, and, and their little shells get thin. But you know these are beautiful brown eggs, beautiful. Love them. Uh, so yes, we've got almost all of these washed and rinsed, and uh, and then I have to get busy uh, to try to figure out uh, what I'm going to do about the fire starter and stick that really. Uh, so yes. Um, anyway, what we'll do is uh, we will come back. Uh, she will be back uh, later on uh, with the rest of the uh, crock pot cooking Renault kitchen segment uh, later on uh, when it is finished and share with you the lovely results. Now, I beg of you, I beg of you, don't tell her about the slight football with the fireside, please. I beg of you, yes. All right, well, it was lovely to be with you today and I wish all of you happy cooking uh, and 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 this wonderful of a journey uh, that you are on, uh, raising your animals and growing your own food. It's lovely, it's just lovely. You have a wonderful day, and uh, I will see you soon, maybe. You never know. <laughs> Bye-bye. Good morning from Going Monarch Homestead. I understand that you were visited by my friend, but I wanted to take a minute to say a few words about this morning. While it was very funny and very entertaining, we need to take care of ourselves, and sometimes we make mistakes when we don't take care of ourselves, like... Dogs walking around and clip-clopping all over the place. Sit. Sit. Sorry. Uh, and we need to eat. We need to um, get good sleep and take our vitamins and all of the things. Eat well, exercise, all those things so that our minds are clear. Well, even though I had that little helper this morning that did so many wonderful things for me, she cleaned up my kitchen. Um, all my dishes were done. My eggs were clean and put away. Um, uh, I hadn't had breakfast, and so she hadn't had breakfast. And it just makes you forget little things. And I found this in the kitchen. It looks a little lighter than it did before. And I don't know if the water level is the same. But I understand because... When you don't take care of yourself, you might do some silly little things like pour the fire cider down the sink. That was not my friend. That was me. I'm owning up for it right now. So if any of you have any input on whether or not this is going to work to reconstitute again a second time, I'm assuming it's probably going to be a lot more watered down. I'm going to get on um, the website uh, for where I got it, which was, I'll put a link below because I don't remember the exact name I, on the spot. can't think I haven't had my breakfast yet. <laughs> so, um, to see if this will reconstitute and at least give us something, um, until I can get another order in, but I really appreciate her help this morning and I hope you enjoyed her and let me know if you did. Um, it was a little different, but I, I felt the spirit moving me to do something a little bit different. So I hope you all are having a blessed day. And as she said, we will see you later with uh, Reno crock pot cooking to see how um, our ragu turned out. Bye. Hi y'all. So it's about an hour before uh, we're eating. So the instructions in the cookbook say to make a flour and water thick pasty likeness. Cook your, put your crock pot up to high and add that pasty flour water mix into your mixture that's in the crock pot. 
So that's what I'm doing. And it should thicken up just enough. Mm. Smells awesome, guys. If we had smell-o-vision, you'd be wanting to come over. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, cover that back up. Carrie's on his way home. It was a nasty storm that just came through, but it seems to have passed. That's always good. And um, that's probably going to be it for today. Uh, we won't be doing too much outside. And dinner's done. And that is that. So this is uh, Growing Monarch Homestead. And we're getting low on our limitedness on our upload. So I'm not quite sure when this video will be uploaded, but we're going to do our darndest. Have a great day. God bless. Stay safe.